of memories. I've made a lot of really, really close friendships here. I would say my favorite memory would be pulling all-nighters with my classmates. It ended up being the best time of my life. And now they're like some of the best friends I have in school. I started right before the pandemic and kind of through that a lot of us in my cohort that I just knew from school kind of made sure we got together to support each other, whether that was meeting virtually or in person, kind of taking time to get to know each other a bit better through that. And I really appreciated that throughout the time because switching to virtual school was a lot. August 2021, watching SAIC students return to campus, being able to be in person after COVID, after the pandemic. Going to school through a museum and like looking at the art. I spent hours just admiring the Renaissance paintings. I'm obsessed with the Renaissance. Walking through the halls and seeing all of the different kinds of stuff that people are carrying around or pushing, like anything from a giant baby head to pieces and parts of a sculpture that people are working on. Being an international orientation leader for the first time, I guess just like interacting with so many diverse people and learning about so many cultures, it was kind of amazing how much impact an orientation leader can have on people. My favorite art word. Art word? Um... My favorite art word has to be paragone, and it was used to compare mediums. I think my favorite and least favorite word is the same. It's used, I think, in every single critique at SAC. It would be juxtaposition. Juxtaposition, I'm very tired of that word. Juxtaposition. Full oh, juxtaposition. It comes up a lot. To translate like that verb, creativity. Ephemeral. It just comes up like when you least expect it. My defining art school moment. When I bought my first pair of docs. Pulling all-nighters of a bunch of other people for like projects due the next day that you just started because you're a freshman, and you're just figuring out how to do everything. <laughs> I was walking down on Michigan and I ran into Elm Green and Drag Set. I saw them and I said, oh my gosh, it's Elm Green and Drag Set. And no one else, none of my friends knew who they were, except for me. I bought my very first box of hair dye. I'm very glad I didn't go through like a blue hair phase, but but I did go through a green one. I was like, I'm gonna go crazy with my makeup, my clothes and everything. Well, I had like blonde ends and like dark red roots and, it lo and looking back in photos, it looked absolutely terrible. But in the moment, I truly just felt like I had so much autonomy and so much freedom over myself. So I came for a film and cinematography, but my freshman year I took an intro to art and tech class and that kind of blew the doors open for me. And I had a virtual reality piece and that was kind of my first big interactive piece that I did. And that was, I was really proud of that. So I make these things called long Furbies. It's where you take a Furby, like the toy, like the 90s, 2000s toy, and you sew a torso to it. I make them to represent different parts of my identity. The recent project that I did titled Building a Building for my BFA show, so it was interdisciplinary piece combined with the ceramics and prints. I'm graduating as a designer and art painter, if I do say so myself. I, I, I just got to try so many new things and I'm so grateful for that. I think I'll miss most a lot of the faculty professors. I've gotten some really great things from them, whether that was like advice or tips, I just learned a lot from them. All my teachers, I'm gonna miss my teachers a lot. I will miss my supervisors and I'll miss my teachers. Just the kind of connections that you can build here and the kind of materials you have access to. What you can make is kind of endless. The one thing that I'm gonna miss, I think the creative freedom that I have in school. SAIC has taught me to be more of an accepting person, not just to myself, but to others. I'm gonna miss the people here the most the community of like studio like you're just working with a bunch of people on cool projects and like talking and sharing information and knowledge i won't miss the not sleeping enough but like the studio jams i'll like miss the community fuels one to thrive uh, in being their authentic selves and i don't think you get much of that when you leave these doors just to be a part of a community that is not only so accepting, but also so championing and so encouraging of each other. It's one of the most unforgettable four years of my entire life. Is there anything else that you want to say? Or? I want to say no art making in the restrooms. 